So, did you live in, in France or just live here in the UK? Uh, Most of your life. Edinburgh, okay. Six months. Okay. Yes, I live in France. Okay. Did you live in France before? Uh, yes. Okay. So you, there's a big community of Algerians and Moroccans yeah, and Tunisians, yeah. right? I, I have family from Morocco. You are your family is from Morocco. Uh, French people in Morocco born there. Okay. You know, yes. Ujda, just in the border. Okay. In front of Algeria. Okay. Yeah. Okay. First time I heard that. Yeah. Okay. So what what do you think about Islam generally? I'm um, God and these things. Uh, the religion is beautiful. I think. Okay. I, I respect that, but I don't believe in God. You don't believe in God, you said. Okay. So what is God to you? Tell me. What is your definition of God? God? Yes. Because uh, you know the word means different things for different people today. The definition of the thing. Only the four. La fe. I don't say that. Okay. When you. Well, I didn't say it. You, He's like, gonna do the right thing now by using Google. Uh, <laughs> like you push your it's, it's spirit, not your spirit, but faith. Are you yeah, talking about faith? Faith. 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 You're talking about faith. The, the, the yeah. Definition is faith. No, no. But what is the definition? What is God like? When you when you use the word God, yeah, like no. for example, when I say human creator, you said right. So when you say human, there's a definition, like a yeah. physical, biological yeah. being with two hands, two legs. This yeah. is a human, right? When you say God, what do you imagine when you say God? Something very big. Big, okay. Yeah. Physically big or just big? Uh, the energy big. No okay, energy. energy. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. Can something come from nothing? Yes. Give me an example. Uh, what? But faith has to be in a human being, it cannot come from yeah. nothing. Because you know, like it's like, let me put it to you in a mathematical format. It's zero plus zero plus zero equals what? Yeah. Ah, okay. What does it equal zero, right? So if there is no space, no energy, yeah. no matter, nothing, yeah. absolute nothingness, can you have something? There's no agency. Yes. Yeah, the absence of everything. So there is nothing. Yeah. Can you then have something from nothing? Could be, yeah, because nothing is something. What is something? Because there is a distant word, for example. It's a meaning. Yeah. So you, 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 you can realize, you can imagine what is this. No, right now we're imagining because we exist. Yeah. I'm saying if there was nothing, I don't exist, you don't exist, no imagination exists, no universe exists, no atoms, no planets, no stars, no space, no dark matter, yeah. nothing. I think you have to do a big introspection yourself to understand that. For example, like when someone asked me, okay, imagine the paradise. I imagine something white. Just okay. because when I was young, I watched Eye Potter. Okay. I, you know, the I understand, yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, but, yes. Uh, I think it's just an influence. No, no, but, but nothing is just a concept. Like, yeah. for example, something, you know what something is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The opposite of something is what? Nothing. Is nothing. Yeah. So it's something you can concept conceptualize yeah. because you can, all you have to do is choose an opposite. That's why in dictionaries, what they do sometimes is they, they, they define something using the opposite. Like they say, definition of love is the opposite, opposite of hatred. Yeah. Right? So that's a common thing to do. Yeah. So you understand the concept of nothing because yeah. you know the concept of something. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying if there was ever nothing, which is the absence of something, there is no something ever. How can you ever have something? How can you have existence? There's no agency, there's nothing to create. There's no space for you to create and there's no atoms for you to collect and gather. Yeah, so how can you have something from nothing ever? Thank you. Well, look, look, I like him. He's, he's agreed. Right? So everything has to come from something. Yeah. Right? So what we're saying is this. is Everything has to come from something. And the universe has a beginning. Then where did the universe come from? The Big Bang. <laughs> Absolutely. The Big Bang is the universe coming from, right? It's energy and matter compressed into a singularity yeah. and expanding very quickly. Where did the energy and matter come from? Where did the space come from? From something. Thank you, yes, exactly. <laughs> so why is that something is the question. Now, let me ask you this question. Can you and me create a universe? Can you create a universe? Me? You. Me, are you any human being? Can you make a universe? Like this universe. You know the universe? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Can you make one? No. Why not? I don't know, but I think everything, everything is creation. So any one other reason no can you what's your name Naria Naria create a, create something yeah yeah no can you create a universe you know a universe is a very specific yeah, yeah, yeah. thing it's space that is filled with dark matter has galaxies stars yeah, yeah, yeah. planets can you create that right now if you want it 
We cannot, any human, we cannot, all of us, we can't, right? So, whatever creates that, the reason we cannot, the reason I asked you why you can't, is because once you understand what you need to create a universe, you understand the attributes of whoever created the universe. Yeah. Okay. So if I need ultimate power to bring this all of this energy into existence, and I need wisdom or knowledge to have galaxies, stars, zillions of stars, laws, and I need to be eternal, because the universe has a start, time and space continuous, yeah. right? So whatever created the universe is powerful in a way we cannot comprehend, intelligent, wise, eternal, and brought the universe into existence. What do people call that? What do humans call that? Yes, you're gonna say, I know you don't. I don't understand all I'll, I'll repeat again, no problem. Okay. I'm saying, whatever creates the universe yep. has to have ultimate power, yep. has to have knowledge, yep. vast knowledge and wisdom, yep. has to be eternal yep. because it creates time and space. Yep. Yeah. So if something creates time and creates the universe and is eternal, yep. all powerful, all knowing, what do we call that? What is the name we give to that thing? Infinity. We don't we call it God, <laughs> right? Don't, don't humans call it God, the Creator? Right, okay, God. Okay. right. Yeah. something the Creator is something which creates the universe that is all powerful, all knowing, yeah. all wise, right? So I'm saying, looking at the universe, you need something that has the attributes of God to create the universe. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, so why don't you believe in God then? I think. Based on that, you know? All the. Koreans? Religions? No, not religions. Because, for example, I believe in something without being God specifically. Okay, higher power. You believe in a higher power? Energy, yeah, something like that. Belief. Belief, yes. Belief. Okay. Yeah. It's not energy. It's not about belief. It's about, look, do you, did someone make this table? Yeah. It's not about belief. It's a fact that someone the made this table. Really Why? Why is the fact? Because the table is here. Because it's real. The universe is real too. Have you seen the maker of this table? No. Have you seen the maker of the universe? No. So why do you believe someone made this? You know, someone made the universe. For example, the God, I can believe, I can see it because yes. if I see it, I can believe it in, in him because. No, no, no. Have you seen the maker of this table? No, but. But you believe he exists. But I can see the the facts. The, the, the Your table. Products, but you yeah. see the product, the universe of the make of the creator. It's the same thing. Is yeah. all is the table is uh, creating about something? Yes, yeah. the creator is a a product of a designer or maker. You've seen the product, is enough evidence that the maker is there. But I see the product, but he, he doesn't move. And the, the life moves all the time. Like the law of the impermanence. So, what do you mean by that? Like for example, I can say he's real, because I can see right now, he, okay. he doesn't move, but the universe can't move, can't move. So, uh, Okay, so yeah. someone someone made a plane, someone yeah. made a car, the yeah. car moves, the plane yeah. moves, but yeah. you still believe someone made it. And you've not seen the person who made it. No. Why is it about moving? I don't, I don't understand. Why is it different? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how okay, to explain that. But for example, like, I know it's real because like, it, it doesn't move. So I can say, yeah, okay, it's real. So your, your, your definition of something which is real, it does not move? Exactly. Something so if something moves, it's not real? Think about that before you answer. Um, <laughs> right. You can believe in God if you see it. Okay. But the only things like I disagree. Okay, let me ask you this. You, you, you see God? Have you seen God? No. So? I disagree that you have to see something to believe it is what I'm saying. I'm saying there's other ways to believe things. I'll give you an example. Okay. Do you have a great grandfather? Great grandfather. Like the the grandfather of your grandfather. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen him? No. So how do you know he exists? Okay, okay. In, in this case, yes. Okay. Have you seen your brain? My? Your brain. So can we say okay. you don't have a brain? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's your okay. Just about so the God. about the God. Yes. If you see it, you can believe in it because. Only no, if you see it, it's not believing. Or if you see it, you experience it. Exactly. It's a higher level of knowledge, exactly. right? Exactly. So knowledge, knowledge can be different levels. First level, I can know. For example, if you've been to China, yeah, no, no, no. but you know China exists. Yeah. So it's a level of knowledge. It's certain knowledge, but you've still not experienced. If yeah. you see China, it's a higher level of knowledge, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we believe knowledge can be three levels. First is the theoretical knowledge, right, which is knowing something through the data information, yeah. which is us knowing God through the data. Yeah. Now the second level is what we call Ainul Yaqeen, that knowledge of eyesight, you see something, right? And then the third level is Haqqul Yaqeen, which is experience of that thing, right? And I'll give you an example of that one of our scholars gave. He said, for example, imagine I have an 
a apple in my pocket. Yeah. Right? I might, right? And then I say to you, I have an apple in my pocket. And you know I never lie. So you believe me now, theoretically, that I have an apple in my pocket. You believe it because I said it to you. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. The second level is I get the apple out. Yeah. Now you see the apple. Yeah. The third level is I say it's a sweet apple and you taste it and you yeah. feel the sweetness. Yeah. So knowledge is different levels. Yeah. What we're talking about is theoretical knowledge, knowing for a fact that yeah. there is a higher creator using the data that we have as human beings. Okay, there is a relation with the image, you know, the image of the pen. So, okay. You know? Okay. And the fact is, there is no pen. No, okay. there is a pen, but it's not true because it's just an image of the okay. pen. Okay. Okay. Yes. Is a relation to this. Yes. Yeah. That's that's that's. But the image shows that the pen was in existence at one point of time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's just theoretical knowledge. It's the first level of knowledge. So we're saying we can use the data information rationality, which is what I used with you, to know that God exists. Yeah. Just like you know your great great grandfather exists, no. right? I don't have to see God. I don't have to experience God in yeah. order for me for a fact yeah. to know that God exists. Okay. And we believe as Muslims, this life is a test. You know what a test is, right? right? So this life is a test is whether you will believe in God or not. If you see God, it's no longer a test. Exactly. Because you see God. But still, using the theoretical knowledge, you will know for certainty there has to be a God. Just like I know for certainty there has to be a maker of this table, I know for certainty you need these attributes that we mentioned to create a universe. Yep. There's no difference. So I have no doubt in my heart, not even 0% doubt, that there has to be a maker that created the universe. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Now, from a rational perspective, yeah. why does that not make sense to you for you to say, yes, I also agree rationally that there is a creator? Uh, I think so. Do you agree that rationality makes sense though? Yes. Okay. So if you agree that rationality makes sense, then the feelings is something I have no control over, right? Yeah, yeah. I can just speak from a rational perspective. Now the second thing is we say that our messengers are prophets. Those are people chosen by the Creator. Yeah. And they get a revelation from God. Yeah. And through that revelation they tell you what is your purpose in life. Yeah. So for example, if I ask both of you what is your purpose in life? What are you gonna say to me? My purpose. Yes. Life. Why are you here? See, it's a very difficult question. Right? Uh, shit, yes. I think it's the elevation spiritual. Okay. Well, I will ask you later to define that. What do you think? It's difficult to to answer, isn't it? Let me let me tell you something. Yeah. I think it's at the end. Okay. But what are you doing here? Is the question. Purpose of life is what you're doing when you're alive. Why? Why are you here? I think you don't. Just here, right? Yes. Okay. But I'm saying the purpose is why do you exist? So let me ask you this: You cannot know your purpose by yourself. Can I tell you why? The purpose of a created thing is always given by the maker. For example, the only way you know the purpose of this bottle is because it's given by whoever manufactured the bottle. Yeah. They gave the purpose of it to preserve water 700. And the reason it's 750 is because the maker decided it's 750. Yeah. So if you're a created thing, as we just agreed, that you have to come from something, yeah. that something decides your purpose because you're just a product created by that thing. Yeah. So the objective purpose of humanity needs to be from the creator. So we need to speak to the creator, but the creator needs to tell us why he created us. Because if we create ourselves, we make our purpose. Yeah. But if something external creates you, then that thing which is external gives you purpose. But do you think there is an importance to know that for life? Absolutely. Because if there is consequences of what you do in this life, when you die, yeah. if there is something called the afterlife yeah. and there is punishment forever, yeah. don't you think it's important? I think it's important. Yes, yes, it's very important, right? Uh, so, yeah. so what we see as Muslims is this, is that there is an afterlife and there is consequences. Let me ask you this. How do you determine what is right and wrong? <laughs> How do you determine? How do you determine something is right or wrong? Like maybe the life is an illusion. Ma mathematically, life is not an illusion. Life is real. Yes. Mathematically, you can say it's not real. You can't. No, you can't. Okay. You can't. There is there is no physicist that says this life is not real. The only people who play this game of hyper skepticism, right, yeah. which is called solipsism, is just philosophers who have. It's called solipsism. It's complete like nonsense. It's just saying nothing exists. You know, nothing exists. Okay, you exist clearly. You exist. And if you didn't believe you exist, you jump off a building because you don't exist. You stand in front of the car because you don't exist, right? You, that's true, right? But we know deep down, in, intuitively, deep down, we know that we exist, right? So what I was saying about right and wrong, though, it's a different 
point. How do you know right from wrong? This is right, this is wrong. Morality. The morality, yeah. How do you know? I studied that in philosophy, but it was very, very difficult. Like, you have very in philosophy, there's so many things. Like, moral relativism, moral consequentialism, there's so many. It's just nonsense, but they don't answer the question. You have mercy. It's about... You know, morality, yeah, of without God, yeah. morality is subjective. You know the difference between subjective and objective? Um, I, I don't know I can say that. Um, can you Morality is something you don't, you don't you want, want to the, the other people do to you. Do to others as you like done to yourself. You don't do. Would you agree with what I just said? Do to others as you like done to yourself, right? Yeah. Or 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 don't uh, as long as you don't harm anyone else, do whatever you want, right? Yeah. Do to other people what you want people to do towards you, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is now what comes from liberalism, and obviously France is very highly influenced by liberalism, anyways. So what you're saying is just a concept that from liberalism. It's called the harm principle, okay. right? So why do I need to follow that? Why do I need to accept this idea? Why? Because the chaos can win the world. Sorry? The chaos. No, the chaos can destroy the world. But, yeah. I'm, but I'm saying, look, let's say I'm a, I'm a very rich person, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's not true. But let's say I'm a very rich person, and I've got the police in my pocket. I control the police. Yeah. Okay. And no one can touch me or do anything to me. And I'm killing. I'm raping. I'm stealing. I'm doing yeah. all the evil things. Why is that bad for me? Tell me. I'm here. I want to know. I'm enjoying my life. Why is it bad? Hurting people. I, I don't care. I'm benefiting. They, they're, they're hurted. They hurt not me. No, no. Yes. Um, so why do I need to follow that pre liberal principle? For you, awareness, awareness. Awareness. Yes. But I don't care about awareness. Yeah, you I care about pleasure. I'm getting pleasure from doing things to yes. people. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong to you, according to you. Yeah. Why do I need to accept the same idea that you have? <laughs> this is your opinion, I will say to you. Yeah. If I'm like this, I will say to you, that's your opinion. So without religion, without God, you have subjective morality, personal opinion. I personally think this is like this, and he personally thinks this is like that. But when it's from God, it's objective. Because it's not a personal thing that comes from a subjective experience. It comes from the, the Creator, therefore it's instantly an objective standard. So without God, you cannot determine right from wrong. Because if it's subjective, you think it's wrong, and I think it's good, okay. the action itself, without you and me, is it good or bad? Okay. So there is no good and bad. Whatever you think is good is good, or whatever you think is bad is bad. Do you get my point? But you don't yeah, have but God, but you can have different God in the world. No, God is just one entity. Just one, okay. You have different conceptions of God. Okay, okay. Do you understand? Like, like you're one person, I can have a different view of you. The question is which, which conception of God is the correct conception of God? Yeah. That's the question you should be asking, right? Yeah. And when you investigate religions, this is how you come to that conclusion. Like we have evidence in Islam to show that this has to be from God. Things that humans cannot do that are within the Quran that show that they're not from Prophet Muhammad, yes. but they are from the Creator. God is universal. Absolutely, yes. And yes. we have different religions, but at the end, God is just one entity, one concept. Yes, okay, yeah. yes, absolutely. So when you study the scriptures, different religions, like I've done, for example, you know what, why a religion is correct and why a religion is not correct. Because what, only one religion can be true. Because they're contradictory. What? So if you have contradictory things, they cannot be correct in the same time. I'll give you an example. For example, Christianity says Jesus is God. Part of the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He's a part of the Trinity. Muslims say he's a prophet of God. And Jewish people say that he's the son, adult, son of an uh, adulterous woman. Right? Yeah. Peace be upon him. We don't accept that, but that's what they say. So he cannot be the three things in the same time. So either he is God, or he's a prophet, or he's not God or a prophet, like the Jewish people believe, right? So it's only one of those religions can be true. Because Jesus was one person, and he was one thing. You understand what I'm saying now? Same thing for God. There's a concept of God in Islam, the concept of God in Christianity, a concept of God in Judaism. Only one concept of God can be true. God exists as one entity, different concepts in different religions. Yeah. I study these religions and I ask them, what evidence do you have to show that your religion is from God? Okay, yeah. 
if they have evidence, then I will accept. If they don't have evidence, then I'll say, no, thank you. I don't need to accept what you say. It's just your subjective opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sense? So the Quran, we know is preserved 100% because we, you know, memorization, memorize the whole Quran in me by memory from the time of the Prophet. Millions yeah. of people has not been changed. But for example, the Bible has been changed, right? right? There are different Bibles even. There's not one Bible. Yeah. 66, the Protestant Bible, 73, the Catholic yeah, Bible, yeah. 82. But what is wrong if, it, if it's changed? Life changed every time. I'll explain yeah. to you. The, the, the revelation is supposed to be God's teaching. When it's changed, now it's not God's teaching. It's your teaching. So if I get this Quran and I add my own things in it, you know, give me hundred wives. And this is my stuff. It's not all God's revelation, right? Do you agree with me? So the reason why we cannot trust this changed scripture is because now it's influenced by humans and humans are adding their own desires into the religious scripture. Okay. But how you can trust the first writing too? What do you mean? Because you said the Quran have just one writing and not the Bible have two. Or yes. More. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we, the the problem with the Bible is not there's not one Bible. They don't agree what the Bible is. The Christians. Okay. Some Christians say it's only 66 books. The Protestants, like the King James Version. Yeah. Some people say no, it's 73 books. Some people say it's 82. They don't agree with how many books. 88. Uh, the Orthodox. Okay. Different Orthodox have different books. Point is, even if you open different Bibles, the same verse would say different things. Yeah. I can give you an example if you like to, to check, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so you, it will say different things about God because they will say to you the old manuscripts has some different things and this manuscripts have different things it's not been preserved the Quran has been preserved written format and also orally because we memorize the whole Quran in our memory so in order for you to follow a scripture it has to be preserved from the time of the Prophet the messenger it has to be preserved from the source so the first thing you need to think about is it preserved or not the second thing is it has no contradictions because God did not create contradictions in the world yeah. right so when he he is all knowing he cannot make a mistake okay. so he cannot have a contradiction and also has to have evidence that is divine so for example the Quran talks about things that we're learning today it talks about for example that biological life is from water yeah. all biological life we're learning that today that everything is from cells and cells are 60-70% water the Quran talks about the shape of the earth I was trying, it talks about the universe expanding we learned in the 1900s by Hubble telescope right it talks about the baby in the mother's womb developing a stage by stage okay. Okay, have you uh Read the Bible or something like that. Yeah, oh, I read the whole Bible. Oh, yeah. the, the Bhagavad Gita, the Bible, the oh. the, the six six books. The uh, you also have Veda, Vedas in Hinduism. Other than the Bhagavad Gita, they have four four Vedas four Vedas, and you've got the Hindu uh, sorry the Jewish scriptures. You have the Torah, the Tanakh, Talmud. And you uh, grow up with the religion with your parents. I didn't grow up practicing. When I done my research, I started practicing myself. When I was younger, I did not practice. But your parents believe in that? My parents believed in it, yes. So you don't think you have an influence about your parents? No. Nothing? Because the reason I'm sure I have no influence from my parents yeah. is because it's easier for me to live as a non-Muslim than to live as a Muslim. So for example, as a person, as a Muslim, in my whole life, I've never had any relationship with any girl. I never touched any girl's hands. Never had, any, never kissed any girl. Don't yeah. drink alcohol ever in my life. Never smoked weed in my life, right? I okay. have to wake up in the morning, dawn time, three o'clock in the morning to pray Fajr prayer. I have to pray Jumu'ah. I have to eat specific types of meat, right? I have to cover certain parts of my body. There, I can go on and on and on. Less is very long, right? Okay, point is, which one is easier? Not to follow. It's easier not to follow the scripture and the teachings, yeah, yeah. right? So, if I study, I will want to look for mistakes because it's hard. Yeah. But the reason I'm following is because I, the only reason I can leave Islam is that I would be lying to myself, knowing that Islam is true, but I'm still acting as if it's not true. Because rationally, there is no room for me to know, to say that's not from God. It's a hundred percent positiveness that this has to be from God. Because of the amount of evidence that is there. It's impossible for Prophet Muhammad to have known the information I'm telling you. It's possible for him to have predicted the future that is happening today. It's possible for him to have talked about the past of things that no one knew. It's possible for this book to stay 1,400 years, no errors, no mistakes. The knowledge that people had 1,400 years ago is very low. So it's very easy for them to make mistakes. So if the Quran was from his knowledge, they will have mistakes. Today, when we discover things, we realize the Quran is wrong, but that's not the case. It's the opposite. Today, when the more we discover, we realize the Quran knows more. For example, if you are a desert between Arab and you see the clouds, yeah. do the clouds look heavy or do they look light? They look, how do they look to you? Like cloud? <laughs> yeah, do they look heavy or light? Ah. You know, heavy or light? Okay, uh, light. 
very light. So if you just, as a person who absorbs the clouds, you say that the clouds are very light. But the Quran describes the, 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 the clouds heavy. It says, الثقال, And he makes or creates heavy clouds. Now today we know that the, these clouds weigh tons because of the amount of water in them. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, so if I'm a desert Bedouin Arab walking, I'm just going to say this is light. I will never say this is heavy. Do you yeah, go? Yeah. I'm not going to go against what I see with my own eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, this is one example I'm telling you of what the Quran says, right? Okay. Quran speaks about so many things. Like for example, the mountains. When you see a mountain, how would you describe a mountain? It's very big, it's very tall. A pile of rock, tall pile of rock. Is that a good description? I want to know something. Okay, one go ahead. Religion, uh, religion. I want to know, uh, one, uh, one, two, say uh, my religion is white and yours is white. I think I think in life there is yeah, yeah I understand what you're saying I understand do you know why you say that you know what she said is the reason is because she thought I might have been influenced by my upbringing I think you are influenced by your upbringing do you know what your upbringing taught you it taught you liberalism liberalism says you accept everyone that's the, that's your belief I know it without you telling me your belief right you accept everyone it's okay you can be whatever you want to be this is liberalism question is I do not need to accept liberalism why because there is something Something called in life called truth. Do you believe there is truth? Truth and falsehood, right? If there is truth and, fa and falsehood, falsehood, then some things have to be true and some things have to be false. You get what I'm trying to say? If they contradict each other, they cannot be true in the same time. Remember what I said to you rationally. So if you say all religions are true, how can you explain the contradictions? No, I, I don't want to say that. I, I want to say it's not the most important, important things God wants. Can I tell you why it's important? Because if a religion is true, whatever it is, if a religion is true, it has a concept but of the absolute. For me, it's not the question if, if, if it's true or not. It's uh, the faith. It's not more, impo more important. But I remember what. About God. Yes, yes, but remember what I was saying to you. In Islam, it's not blind faith. You've got evidences to show that this is actually from the Creator. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I'm saying to you, why is it important? Because if God exists, God is a part powerful entity, would you agree? No. So how, how did God create the universe? <laughs> okay, do you believe, do you just agree that whatever brought the universe into existence has to be powerful? I believe in God, but uh, I don't believe it's a uh, prophet. No, powerful, powerful. Ah, powerful. Sorry, oh, you misheard yeah. me. That's why I said like, okay. Do you believe God is powerful, right? Right? So if God is so powerful, if God is after you, he wants to do something bad to you, should you be scared or not? You tell me. Uh, <laughs> no. If God wants to do evil to you, wants to harm you, yeah, I'm scared. You should be scared. Yeah. So we're saying, depending on what religion, they say to you, if you don't follow in the afterlife, there is a punishment. Yeah. So I should know which one is true, so I avoid the punishment of God. Okay. Yeah. Because it's not. Why is it important? Because it's God's command. It's not me. Yeah. yeah. And what God said is important because God is all powerful. But God is good. If I don't want to be. Uh... Yeah, but God tells you don't do this, and God tells you don't do this because it's bad when you disobey God we need to be punished you agree no, no. so if God says don't God, God is so good he, he can do uh... So so, so 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 where God do bad things. let me ask you this question let me ask, no no not do bad things okay but God is gonna punish the people who do bad things can you explain that to him mm, so God no, because, because for me God forgive human. everyone Huh? Yes, everyone. <laughs> okay, so Hitler Hitler is okay, he's going to paradise. Huh? Think about it. Before you get caught by some Jews in the street. Huh? The per you know, it, there was a very ho horrible person in France. Have you heard the news? But you can be horrible. In France, there's a person in France recently who stabbed children. Yeah? He's a Syrian guy. He's a Syrian refugee. He's a Christian Syrian refugee. His name was the servant of Christ. And he he shouted out in the name of Jesus. And he stabbed little children. Yeah. You think God should be merciful with him? No. Stabbing, stabbing three-year-old children? You think God should be merciful? I can't judge. I can't judge. Only God can. No, no, but you are saying God has to forgive. So you are judging yeah. on behalf of God. God, God as just like God is good, God is just. 
If I do bad to you, God doesn't have one attribute. God has multiple attributes. Justice is one of his attributes. If someone does bad, even though he knows that he's doing bad, he deserves punishment. Especially humans. We don't live our lives except if there is some punishment towards us. Okay, if you break the red light, you, you pay a fine. So you don't cross the red light. If there is no fine, people will cross the red light. This idea of do whatever you want, God is merciful. God is not only merciful, God is also powerful. God is also just. So if I do bad to you, then I deserve that God holds me accountable for what I do to you. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody is perfect. You We're not, not perfect. True, true. I agree. You do uh, some bad things. Yes. You too, I think. But, but that's why you repent. And if God don't forgive. No, no. We don't say God is not going to forgive anything. Okay, okay. But we say some things God might not forgive. Okay. We, it's not the one we judge. God is the one who judge. Right? So one thing we believe God doesn't forgive is that you disbelieve in God. If you say, I don't believe in God. Or you worship something other than God. God doesn't forgive that. If you die with, with that, then God will not forgive you. But if you stop, God will forgive you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there is a balance. Yeah. It's not that God for, will forgive everything. Some things God will forgive. If you show regret, you know, you stop the bad thing. You show regret. You try to make up to different people. Then God will forgive you. We believe in that concept of change. forgiveness. Sorry? You can change. Exactly. Yes. But if you don't change and you do evil and you die, then God will punish you. Yeah. So what I'm saying, then it's very important to know what is right and wrong. So you avoid the evil and you do the good, right? Yeah. So you can only know that by knowing which religion is true. So it's very important to know which religion is true. Yeah, but... Uh, Because different religions have different teachings. Yes, but so many religions are good. Only a few of religions are good. I think there is a lot of differences in right and wrong between Islam and Christianity. There's a lot. Do you think the people do wrong things deserve something bad? I think God is the one who... Go to the hill, for example? I think it depends on what they done and God is the judge, right? Okay. So if what they do deserves that they enter hellfire, then yes, they'll deserve to enter hellfire. Some things you don't deserve to enter hellfire for, or some things God will forgive, right? right. But uh, when I say enter hellfire, I mean eternally, because you enter for just for a period of time, it's possible as well in Islam. Even as a Muslim, you can enter hellfire for a while if you don't repent and you do a lot of evil in your life, because you don't get a free ticket, God is just, you get the point. Right. But to go for hellfire forever, it's only the people who don't believe in God at all or they worship something else they worship a human being they worship an idol they ignore God the creator the one who created them because they give the rights of God to someone else okay so it's very important then that's what I'm saying to both of you then it's very important for you to study and figure out what religion is true because the morality which is the Christian which has asked you what God is true and what morality is right for us to follow and, and what evil things is for us to avoid make sense I all the construction of Thanks. Okay, makes sense. Of course. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah, it. Very interesting. No problem. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to come anytime. We're we're here five days a week. You can come back. You know. Uh, you have Instagram? Like. I I can give you my channel. I can give you my YouTube channel if you want.